Ooh, an exclusive look at the garbage can cam. I'm not even sure how you got in there, but fortunately, Smell-O-Vision doesn't exist just yet. And like many of you today, I'm busy taking down the Halloween decorations, trying to hide the evidence from the 25 or so fun-sized candy bars I inhaled last night. But today, a plea from our friends at King County, the experts who remind you, yes, put away the Halloween decorations. Just don't put your pumpkin in the garbage. Yeah, we put out a video on social media for this Halloween season to educate people about composting their pumpkins uh, and kind of reminding and encouraging people to put that in the compost bin instead of in the garbage bin. So in King County, um, most people have access to a compost bin, so that's like curbside collection. So if you're one of those people, and that's most people in the county, you can just put it in that curbside bin. It's going to usually be the green bin. <laughs> So we estimate about 30% of the stuff that's coming to the landfill is this kind of organic material, like these pumpkins and the food and yard waste that you have. But basically when you put it in a, something like a pumpkin in the landfill, it's gonna break down more slowly and it's gonna emit methane, which is a, a more powerful greenhouse gas. If you put it in compost, uh, it's not gonna do that. So it, it does have a, a bigger environmental impact. You're also creating this kind of circular loop where you're taking food and you're using it to make more food instead of just putting it in the landfill. One thing that maybe isn't super obvious is a lot of people decorate the pumpkin with, you know, like glitters or paints. Those aren't compostable, so we want to clean those off. Uh, how to compost, some of the basic how-tos on the King County Solid Waste Division website. Use compost so that we can get that stuff out of the landfill.